Hello everybody. So I'm wearing a very bright shirt today. Um, I was gonna make a breakfast um, vlog this uh, food vlog this morning, but this morning I wasn't at my house because I went out with friends last night. Needless to say, it was a rough night, and I even got this lovely bursted blood vessel, which doesn't hurt. It's just annoying and ugly. My mom was like, "Oh, you look like you got beat up." And I'm like, mm, "No, didn't get beat up. Sorry." But uh, in the one frying pan, I have two frying pans here on the stove right now. They're heating up. Uh, one is going to be used to fry bananas. Now, we're making a little bit of a dessert today, and I'm, for some reason I have an itch right here, and I don't know what it is. I think I got bit by a bug. Um, in the one pan, I have a crepe. I pre-make my crepes. It's a simple crepe recipe. You can get them online anywhere. You type it into Google, and boom, recipes. Simple crepe recipes are best. Um, some of them get complicated. Just type in, like, simple crepe, easy crepe recipe. Make them ahead of time. Freeze them with, like, you just, like, fry them quickly on each side till they're, like, not fully cooked, but pretty well cooked. Um, it takes some practice sometimes if you haven't made anything like that before. It's kind of like a pancake. So if you know how to make pancakes, that's easy. For my friends who are in Italy, um, I've taught you how to make pancakes. As an American, you wanted American pan or as me being American, you wanted me to make you American pancakes, and I did, and I know you guys love them. Here's something that's more on your end of the spectrum uh, with crepes. Uh, I mean, my, a few of my friends love crepes. My mom loves them, and they're easy for her because she's diabetic. Because um, I don't make them with sugar in them, and she, there's not like too many carbs in it, and she can eat them for breakfast if she wants. Um, we're going to be frying bananas in the one pan, like I said. We're going to fry them in butter with a little bit of sugar sprinkled on top. Try to fry them on both sides. These bananas are a little too ripe. You want to get ones that are closer to being green than they are ripe, because there'll be enough sweetness. Don't worry. Um, most people eat their bananas really ripe. I like mine to be almost like green, kind of like the shirt. Um, on the other counter, I have a, excuse me, a, um, cream that I whipped. It's not like a real whipped cream. It's more of a froth because I didn't use heavy cream. I'm going to use this just to drizzle across the top of the crepe when it's finished and dust it with some powdered sugar. I was going to go for whipped cream, but quite frankly, I am not feeling well enough to drive to the store and get heavy cream. So that's what we're stuck with today. Um, move this a little more this way. Uh, we're going to aim the camera down onto the stove so you won't be able to see me but you'll be able to hear me. I have to grab the butter which is over here and using a uh, lighter butter it's with canola oil. I'm going to turn this down to very very low so we can go ahead and put this into the frying pan. Basically you're just melting the butter to put the bananas in and then you're going to throw the banana in and cook it. So I'm going to cover up the butter again. Thank God mom isn't home right now because she is the one who yells at me for not cleaning the kitchen up to her standards, which are surgical in nature. Um, the butter is getting melted. I'm going to aim the camera down now and move the sugar back. I have no room to cook right here. There's a little bit of counter space by my stove and it's not easy to work with. So here we go. You see the crepe is right here and over here we have the butter which is melting and a little bit of sugar up here. This helps to car caramelize a little bit the bottom of the banana. I've done this before. Like I said, I'm not a professional chef, so if there is a professional chef that's going to watch this, you can go ahead and critique me. I really don't care. My cousin's a chef and he doesn't seem to mind, I don't think, my style. So I'm taking the banana. I cut, them into, I cut the banana into quarters right down the, um, right and cut the banana in half, then cut it uh, longitudinally across. So we're going to take the flat side instead of the curved side first and lay that down into the butter. Turn up the heat to high, put the rest of these bananas in here. This will make two crepes right now. I only have one in the frying pan. I'm limited on space in that pan. Um, but you can make as many as you want. Put them closer together. I'm going to get a towel because banana makes your hands kind of sticky, especially because these ones, like I said, are really ripe. Uh, we're going to let them fry on that side. They'll get, they'll get lightly brown. Um, I put a little sugar in now. For a little bit of a twist on flavor, I'm adding a mix of cinnamon sugar that I make. I just have it in an old, old spice container. Just leave it a light dusting. Now, this is a dessert. When I make desserts, I really don't try to make healthy desserts because that's just ridiculous. And... Um, yeah, so there's no point making a healthy dessert. You want to have a dessert that you actually want to eat. 
Uh, at least I do. I don't know what other people think. But if you're a health nut, make it however you want. You can prepare a crepe a million different ways. We're going to turn this back up a little bit. I'm going to get a plate out so that we're ready to plate, because this doesn't take very long. This is one of the short recipes. My mom has these really pretty plates with bamboo on them. She loved them, and we wanted white this time. We used to have, like, square plates that were tan and really, like, modern-looking. Now she wanted something different. I'm going to take a look at the bottom of a banana. And the banana is not ready. Okay, so that's caramelizing nicely, caramelizing nicely, however you say it, tomato, tomato, it's whatevs. I'm going to flip this crepe that's been heating up. It's not cooking, it's just heating because I have it on very, very low heat. This burner is usually a high-powered boiling burner, but when you put it on low, it makes it easy to just heat up something like this. It's been already cooked for the most part. Um, you can hear the banana sizzling. I love butter. I am not Paula Dean, but Miss Dean does inspire my desserts a little bit. Because I love my butter. This is when I turn French, even though I usually don't care for French food, but I have this really weird idea that butter's healthy. Uh, <laughs> and it isn't. But you know what? I don't care. Okay, so those bananas are browning very nicely on the one side. Now I'm going to flip it over. And they're actually at the point where they are sticking. And now we basically have caramel on the end of this spatula. Uh, caramel, caramel, whatever you want to say. Uh, turn up the heat here. And it'll be good to go. Believe it or not, I don't weigh 900 pounds. It's a surprise to most people because I love food so much. We're cooking this on medium high. My burner goes from zero, or about, like, essentially zero to ten. Right now we're cooking it at about seven. Um, it's a medium high, cooks it fast. This is cooking at, like, four. So medium, medium, low. And, uh, yeah, that's all she wrote here. I dropped it on four. We've had a little problem with those itty bitty bitty baby ants, and my mom is thoroughly irritated. That's ready to go. We're going to place that into the crepe, like so, closer to the one edge, because you're going to, this one is going to be rolled. Uh, normally when I do crepes, I just do the half fold and call it a day. You know, I'm having some trouble here with this one. There we go. There we go. Move that off that hot burner so that they cool down and don't get too well done. Uh, what I'm going to do now is take a tablespoon, and here's the mixture I made. Putting a little bit, it's, a, it's very much a, fro a froth. A froth, eh. So it's like something you put on your latte, which actually this I have made before for coffees in the evening. And I just drizzle that on the inside set this aside on the back of the stove. This stove is a really nice one. My parents did a good job when they bought this. Um, we're going to fold it in the pan. Normally I fold it outside the pan. If you're like me, your skin no longer feels temperatures. So you can like, I mess around in the frying pan a lot. I don't recommend that for everybody because it's a really good way to burn yourself. Um, we're going to take the camera over to the other counter now because I have a galley-style kitchen. Um, we're going to plate this. I just need to get my spatula out. Or not spatula, my egg turner, whatever you wish to call it. Thing that you can move a crepe out of a frying pan with. Okay, that is now on the plate. Turn off the heat. I'm going to get the powdered sugar out. Put the powdered sugar over here. And where did I put there? It is. And now I'm going to just take this, and drizzle it on top, drizzle that on the plate a little bit, and then give it a light dusting of powdered sugar. This powdered sugar doesn't come out very well. This is an easy recipe. So I'm showing you the easy way to do it. Normally I make things really, like, pretty and stuff, but today, not so much. Uh, we're going to garnish this, if I still have all the fruit in my fridge. With some fresh berries. You can see the rest of my frozen crepes back there on the countertop. Um, 
we're now running in about nine minutes. I don't like to do a video that's too much longer than that. Uh, most YouTubers don't. But for this case, we're cooking, so I'm not going to make it shorter because that would be ridiculous. I'm just going to take, these are already pre-washed. We're just going to take a few of them, put one right here, right here, right here, and right here. These are black raspberries. And then just put a few on top of the crepe. So we have a crepe that has fried bananas inside with a froth of uh, vanilla and almond cream and garnished with blackberries. One thing I have done in the past is actually take the blackberries and blend them into the cream, which makes a really pretty color and it adds some contrast to the plate. This is a really bland looking plate. I should have used a smaller plate in reality, but it's what I grabbed out. We did this in a bit of a hurry. Um, the crepe recipe, you can again, Google it. Um, the bananas, you saw how I fry them. I don't really measure stuff when I do certain recipes. Uh, it's basically me putting in things until they look right or until they taste right. And I guess it's why I don't like to be, I don't like, I wouldn't want to be a classically trained chef because I do things like my great-grandmother cooked, and my great-grandmother came from Italy way back in the day, and my glasses are crooked. Um, she didn't measure anything. That Nothing she made had measurements. Our sauce recipe for our family sauce um, has no measurements to it. Uh, so I don't, really, I don't really like to measure stuff. So, and my computer just told me it's 8 o'clock p.m. Thank you, Mac, for scaring me again. Uh, but yeah, that's the simple recipe for banana filled crepes, fried banana filled crepes, uh, with a vanilla almond froth, or foam, whatever you want to call it. Uh, normally I would garnish with whipped cream too, but we don't have that on hand. So, that's all she wrote. Enjoy the food if you decide to make this recipe, and uh, good cooking. See ya.